flesh it out and do stuff like that. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing so hard right now. I'm lightheaded. I'm like, you know, this is an emergency. You send me a link right now. Like, he's one of those guys. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is an emergency. You better fucking send him a link. <laughs> It's, I got other stuff to show. Would you like to see the messages I'm getting from Frankie? Would you like to see these? There you go. There you go, Frankie. I will join. I'll take that down. Gino, you send me a link right now. <laughs> Hi, Gino. You send me a link right now. You send me a link right now. I will join in hot, in hot water show. Gino, you send me a link right now. I think you better send him a link before you get your fucking legs broken. <laughs> These remind me of the text I got from Pat Dixon without the violence. <laughs> <laughs> I will join in in hot water right now. Uh, we're getting to you, Frankie. Hey, Frankie, how much fun did you have with Jessica Gould this weekend? I had two fists worth of fun. <laughs> one in her pink, one in her pink. <laughs> I can work her like a double puppet. <laughs> He's real used to Frankie's girth. Frankie. Yeah. Which hole did you I'm prefer more? <laughs> it's, look, he's on mute. I'm real Frank <laughs> uh, Let me let me let me point something out. I'm laughing because obviously he's gonna unmute himself. Like I'm the dumb, like, oh, how do you figure that out? <laughs> he, he just watch this. I'm gonna mute him again. Watch him lean forward, be like, there you go. Frankie, what Jessica did you Gould's pussy smells worse than her asshole. <laughs> I was just saying, I was just talking to Jessica Gould on Saturday. Yeah, and I told that her that is all. <laughs> I told her that is all. That's the end of my cartoonish, my cartoonishly large penis. <laughs> Look at him laughing. Hey, nodded at that one. Frankie, Andrew Herbert would like to know what would it sound like of a guy falling off a cliff yelling? Yeah. <laughs> it's a short clip. Short clip. Yeah, sounds like he just felt he tripped over a curb. <laughs> yeah. Frankie, can you please do that again? Frankie, what would it sound like if a guy fell off a cliff or stubbed his toe on a rock? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Diesel Cat's right. She loves that, Frankie. That's very good. It's just a big fan of mine. That is all. Yeah, mm. big fan, all right. It's been snowing in Queensland, Australia last week. Dumped a lot of snow in South Queensland, Australia. Wow. Did it really, Frankie? In New South Wales, Australia. I didn't know it snowed down there, down under. I thought it was just hot. It's their winter time there. Do they have penguins there? Russian aircraft flew over the Arctic. Did you just read the news? <laughs> flying over the Arctic. Now, Frankie, Andrew Herbert is a little more specific now. He said, "What would it sound like? What would it sound like?" He wants to know for another uh, a guy falling off a huge mountain. Oh. And did you know <laughs> all military bases a restricted area? I do not take <laughs> pictures of any military installations at all. Frank, <laughs> I don't take pictures of any military installations at all. I, get rid of a normal I don't know. I thought you were a military installation photographer. Yeah. I don't take pictures of any military tanks and installations at all. <laughs> Frank, you know what? You know what, what about other? Called? Maybe some artillery. Area Fifty One. Did you take a picture of that? Not at all. Frankie, do you, Fort know what, Knox? you know what the most stolen car in Canada is, Frankie? Ford. The 2006 Dodge Dually XL. Did you know that? <laughs> God, there's a. So so. Oh, I didn't put this up. There's wow. a. <laughs> Thank you. Let me ask you something because by tomorrow we'll know the answer. Is President Biden alive? He's still alive. You're sure? See, yes. for, he's still for, alive. For be President Joe Biden is still alive. I'm not going to be any politicians at all. I'm not going to be any politicians at all. He's already defensive. So, Frankie, you're se you're telling me because you sound a little guilty that Joe Biden is still alive. I'm not going to be any politicians at all. <laughs> well, because you're I, too busy uh, taking pictures of military installations. 
I don't take pictures of any military installations at all either. <laughs> Gabe, who's got the best avatar ever. Fucking, it's a cat balanced on a door handle. Frankie, what would it sound like with a guy telling the military installations really, really, oh, really, really, who's really sending bad? Them these? <laughs> Frankie, I want to know what it would sound like if a guy was uh, drowning in green D. It's green T E A. <laughs> when that's not funny. But when that's not funny, you've got to just throw me in the trunk of the Civic and throw and throw us both in the river, Steve. Yeah, but Steve. What's, uh, what's but not Steve. funny? Green D? <laughs> green T E A. Green D E A. But what green is T E A? Sorry. E? Green T E A. T? Green T, T A. Yeah, but if a guy was drowning in green D, what would it sound like, Frankie? Green T A. <laughs> hey, Gino, I'm going to make the announcement. I don't take pictures of any Army, <laughs> Naval, Air Force. You are standing in this <laughs> because I need to super chat you. God. But Frank, gonna, where'd you get all those pictures of all those you. helicopters and tanks and uh, mortars? I, I didn't take pictures of Army tanks, helicopters, <laughs> any military installations at all. You tweeted a picture of a stealth bomber yesterday. Yeah, I didn't Frank. do it. <laughs> Good Lord. I don't tweet pictures of tanks and fighter jets. Right now, Andrew Herber and Shane Ogden are like, I can't keep up. I can't. What keep about up. stealth bombers? I don't tweet pictures of that either. It's military. I don't do that kind of stuff. Frankie, you ever uh, give you ever get a little green TNA from Jessica Gould? No. Yeah. Eh. All right, I bombed. I bombed. Sorry, guys. I thought it was Frankie, good. where'd I you get all those? I don't take pictures of Russian military bases either. I don't go to Russia. Period. I'm not where... a fan of Russia. Yeah, I, I we understand that, but then where'd you get all those pictures of those Russian soldiers kissing? I don't take pictures of Russian soldiers at all. I don't take <laughs> pictures of soldiers of any countries at all. Do you take pictures of people kissing? I don't take pictures of soldiers. I don't take pictures of Russian soldiers. I don't take pictures of soldiers of any other countries at all. That's not a no. Yeah. Frankie, who's your who's your girlfriend? I got a lot of them. You have a lot of them? I bet you do. Bisconti, he has a lot of girlfriends. Oh, I know he does. Who's Back in April 2024, and, and uh, you told Gino, say... Turn around, turn around now, turn around oh. now. Frankie, I heard your favorite of your girlfriends was Jessica Gould. She's just a big fan of mine. That is all. I don't, that's not what I heard. Frankie. She's, she's a, she's Frankie, a, I know you had relations with her. Are you sure about that? Five minutes. Ding, ding, ding. She's, she's, she's just a, from Jessica Gould, Keanu. Oh my God. I have she's Jessica just, Gould here. She's she just said, a big fan of mine. That is all. No, no, no. I just got a text from Jessica, and Jessica Gould said, How dare Frankie? That's the greatest pleasure of my life. What? And then leave me high and dry. Frankie. And that's true. Not true. Wow. This is, that's really that very is rude. Not true, not true, not true, not true. Leave them. Tag out. Love them and leave them. Frankie. Not true, not true, not true, not true. Embarrass me in front of Keanu like that, Frankie. Not I true, mean, not true, not true. I don't care about the fast and loose way you live your life, but don't, not in front of a, a not in front of Keanu who's shopping for a red wedding dress, according to Garrett. Well, my wedding dress is ready on Friday. Frankie, how could you? No, not true, not true. She's just a big fan of mine. That is all. Oh, That's not what I heard. Yeah, oh, Kumia. She's just a big fan of mine. That is all. Oh, Jessica Gould. So, Frankie, when are you hanging out with her again? I could be seeing her tonight at Dooley's. <laughs> uh, now, when you say could be, is that like, it seems like you're putting it on her, Frankie. It's like you're saying, don't blow this woman. Am I right? Is that what you're telling me, Frankie? Oh, not true. She's just a big fan of mine. That is all. Chrissy, you have to come back on my show. I'm sorry we didn't get along the first time. I apologize. Oh, please, we've discussed this. You're, I'm kidding. She's fine. I'm sure she'll weigh in on that. Does she hate me? No. Okay, good. All right, good. She just feels you're in, uh, I don't know. I don't want to speak for her. I'm sure she'll tell you. See, she, do does, she does hate me, Gino. Oh, after you talked shit about me last time, G is love to. Yeah. Yeah, you should. You should come on. Oh yeah, so see, did you talk shit about her? I thought you I don't were just know talking shit like a dude would talk about any. So, uh, yeah, so that's what I did. It was basically like I don't find female comedians funny. 
kind of thing. And then, so you, you know, we asked her, like, what are boobies? Chrissy Mayer are funny, even though you've hung out with Keanu. You don't think they're funny. See, no. that's you. And I said this to her about you. <laughs> he says, immediately ta started talking. Oh, hold on. Let's say. And I'm, listen, I'm not saying I'm, I'm funny. I'm not saying that. I don't do comedy, but no, uh, no I'm just saying. Your, but it's like, I don't, I don't find, I just don't find female comedians to be that funny. No, that's a generalization, though. It is. Do you think that is true? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I don't know if you took it the wrong way. I think you got a clip and, and I may be, I may be wrong about this, but there was a clip that was taken, a very funny clip of us talking shit about you that was taken out of context. Now, I don't know if that's Boy, 100%. Go. Start I back. Watch this. Watch this <laughs> Olympic athlete backpedal, everyone. Here we go. <laughs> no, Watch I'm serious. I'm serious. I think if you got the full context of that clip, I don't remember what episode you were on, but maybe we could get it. Um, but, you know, I think that the, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we're just trying to have some fun. And I felt like I felt like you left unhappy and then I got frustrated and I fucking was like, well, fuck that. Did you act out? Is that what you did? Yeah, I was flirting. I was negging, right? That's what they call it. When you neg a girl, you want to when you want to. Is that what but is not a good thing? By the way, Chrissy asked, why don't you just have people on you actually like? That's a fair yeah, question, I, sir. Yeah, yeah. That, I man? said what that. I, I said, I think there are three people that we have on. People that we, we we love, like already, people that we're unsure about, and then people that we hate. And we love to have those three groups on because then you get conflict. And when it's on Twitter, it's easier to get the people that you hate on because maybe they don't know about like the, the show. So you can kind of convince them to get on without them knowing what the show's about. So you did immediately start talking shit about my girl Chrissy as soon as she left the stream? I don't remember. That's a yes, then. No, I really, I think, I think I was like nagging. I think I was like poking fun. I don't think it was like, I think maybe I was playing into it, but I think at the, right, by the I'm end of that show, I was like, you know, but Chrissy's cool. Like, I wish it would have worked out kind of thing. Uh, Courtney said, I quote, I'm not a fan of hers. I only had her on because she has 2000 followers. That's a true statement. That is 100% true. Not a huge fan of Chrissy. I'm a fan. I was a fan of compound. Wasn't a huge fan of Chrissy. But I had her on because she did have a lot of followers. That is true. Okay. I stand by that 100%. Now, I wanted to like her. I was hoping to like her. I just felt like she didn't roll with the punches. Chrissy says roll with the punches. You, you had, had me on. on while I was pregnant to talk about someone I dated over. Really? Did you oh, ever yeah, we brought up Pat. Pat Dixon? No, so, so here's the thing about the Pat Dixon thing. I got messaged about Pat Dixon during the show. And I was like that. And I was like, so Pat Dixon was streaming on cozy at the time, I think, or, or at least like a few months prior. And I was curious about that. Cause I, I think Pat's funny. I do. I've watched a, a few of Pat's stuff. Him. I will tell you um, this. You didn't ask fucking Chrissy about her album or even January six or a viral trans moment. You didn't ask about anything. I did. I did ask. Years. I did ask about your viral trans moment. We did talk to you about comedy. I we did let you promote his house. Hang on. Hang on. We did. Up. Kelly, we did on. we did let you promote your stuff uh even at the end of the show and everything before you left even though i could tell you weren't happy we let you do all of that but here's the thing the show would be we don't do the whole political thing if we do the political thing shit gets really fucking boring i'm not like a political analyst i have my political views but i'm not going to sit there and talk politics with people that just agree with me on everything it just it's it's a circle jerk at that point that's why i like when i talk politics with gino he doesn't know, like, he's not in all the Jew stuff, but he lets me say whatever I want, and he has good questions and stuff, and I can talk to him about that. But on my show, if I'm going to, like, what, I'm going to sit there and talk about trans rights? Like, my audience is a bunch of fucking, it's not Nazis, but you know what I'm saying. It's like, you know, pretty dissident right wing. It would be stupid like for me to sit there and talk I about like feminism, cheating, you know? That's what I'm saying. I want to have her back on. I, I in fact, we'll go on, but I'm telling and, you, and, and, and I and I want to go over the clip and I want to go over the clip because I don't hate Chrissy. I had her on because she had a lot of followers, but I was also a fan of compound and I made that clear as well. So I didn't want to be rude. And I actually have messages I could show of me and Paul talking. I'm like, listen, I know she's a female comedian. I'm not really into that whole thing, but. I do want to interview her for real. I want to have a good conversation. And he was like, we just can't cuck on our brand. We have to be our brand. And I'm like, well, she's friends with Anthony. She's friends with all these guys that we really like. 
you know, so I, we were trying to like play it fair and uh, still stick to the Keep brand. Keep it fair, Judge. Keep it fair. You know, you know, I mean, listen, it's 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 a part of the show. So I would love to have her back if she'll come back on. I would love to have her come back on. Yeah. So you and, had me on for my proximity to Anthony Cumia. No, I mean, we had you on because of you. I mean, you're on compound. I already interviewed Anthony a year before that. I'm, I'm friends with Missy. So, no, it wasn't about the whole proximity to Anthony. That's unfair. That's bullshit. So, no, it wasn't about that. It was because you were involved with compound and I figured you might have an interesting story to tell. And you did. I love the story about the Conan thing. We talked about that. Your experience what was with, the story about the Conan thing. She worked with Conan O'Brien. And I feel, and I feel like, by the way, bec- and I don't like female comedians, but I don't think I, I never said that Chrissy wasn't funny on the show. And in fact, I think if you pull episodes even after that and after she was on, I've had nothing but decent things to say about her being funny on her appearance. I just wish that she would have. Uh, you know, she was pregnant. I think that's what that I think that's what it was about. I think she was pregnant. And that's no offense. It's I know that it comes off as like, well, it's like when you tell a girl that you're only mad because you're on your period. I get that. But I do think that it had something to do with it. So you had me on. For, so the proximity. Well, you know what? I will say it that. wasn't the proximity to Anthony. I've already I had I had interviewed Anthony already before that. Friends with Missy. Well, look, you know, dude, it let wasn't. Me, about let, let me say this to just. I love you, buddy. I love hanging out with you. You know, my loyalty is with Chrissy, but I like to think that you. I know, I know. And you know, that you're being a shitty host interviewer has nothing to do with my hormones. (laughs) (laughs) And you're a shitty female comedian. I'm not laughing right now because she put out Buvala (laughs) for me. I'm not laughing just because of that. That's really good. And you're a pregnant, shitty hormonal comedian. Female. Why would you say that? She just called me a shitty host. Well, (laughs) What am I gonna do? What do you want me to say? I love you. Jack off. What do you want me to do? It's fair. You know, it's fair. I'm gonna allow it because I think you're a fun co-host, and I think Keon, Keon, I think Chrissy is a great comedian. No hard Uh, feelings. Just don't act shocked when you have someone on in bad faith and can't understand why they are dying to come back. That's fair. They're not dying to come back, but you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that that, that's. I'm sorry. No, that's that's totally fair. And that's why I said I wouldn't like you don't have to come back. I'm inviting you back. Take it as a formal invitation. You don't have to. And it's I you know, I'm happy that there's no hard feelings. I'm happy. It's just water under the bridge. You know, it is what it is. I had a good time, though. I had a very good time on that. The important show. thing, really, I think we all the agree Conan with- story was it was actually really cool. What's the Conan story? The important thing is you don't know that she worked for Conan. Thing. Look at that. What you is really? It? You don't know that she worked for Conan. I knew, she was an uh, intern on the Conan show. Yeah, on Conan but O'Brien. I the Conan story because I knew it. We're back. We're hanging out. Look at that. I'm in my seat Woo-hoo! because they got mad at me because I wanted my seat. It's my seat. I didn't know there were signs. I there are seats because I'm it's, in the box seat. You're not. <laughs> no, there's the box seat. Yes. See, that's the dick shot. See, I didn't. I missed a beat. Slice, it's a slice corner. Slice corner. I only got here like 10 minutes before you, so. <laughs> That's 10 minutes. Yeah. 10 minutes, and I'm going to need that box right now. Well, I was sitting a in a different seat with a different mic set up before. <laughs> this this is how. Baby Gene came in and need... said, I want my chair. That's I mean, exactly couch. what I said. In yeah. fact, I believe I knocked over the equipment throwing a tantrum. Well, first, you, you went <clears throat> three times before you said anything. Yeah. What did start... I do? What did I do? <clears throat> just looked over at us and went. <clears throat> I believe I did that. I believe and I then, did that. You started going, I need my seat. <laughs> then I can't stole- do a podcast without my seat. You stole your water then? I did, and then I'm drinking. I gave you my cooties. <laughs> then you you wind your way back into your seat. Right. Then you just start drinking my water. <laughs> it's, it's dominance. Establishing dominance. I guess, I guess it's seat rules. Like every, Everything in this zone is belongs to the I always thought the this, gene seat. I thought we liked this layout because it gives this some semblance to the old. I need that. Thank you. It gives some semblance to the old in hot water show. Steve, you look so uncomfortable. Because I'm here, <laughs> and you guys are right there. You're to my right, and you're oh, in your okay. spots. And you know, you're right. back I'm just telling you what oh, I think. I got, it, now. I got it. I didn't see it at first, but now back I at the old desk. Now that I'm in my seat, mm, I will say yeah. it again. <laughs> you did it three times Sit last night. Yeah. You yeah. don't do it right yeah. unless you really mean it. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys miss me at all? Like I miss you guys. Like I, I think Keanu all the time is like those two love you. I'm like I don't think they do. And I just sit there going like. <laughs> Anyone that says this now, they both suck. Anyone that says that, I promise you, 
you should say to them, I get it, you voted for Biden. And you can't admit that you fucked up, and you can't admit that he's so fucking terrible, and you can't admit that Kamala Harris literally is... Mamala. Did you see who went after, what group I, went after Kamala Harris? I personally Harris? can't admit that I'm thinking about voting for Trump. I will be broken up with my girlfriend. I will be disowned by my parents. But nobody knows I, what you're going to... Yeah, but you Drew. One thing you do, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but I'm it's really bad lying. at lying. I don't like to lie to people. Why? It feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> he never lies. He omits stories when he's saying he got arrested. I'm kidding. Why but Drew, in your all defense, these people why you can't vote for who you want to vote for? If I bring it up, they're gonna be like, "Well, I just don't bring it up." You know, you know how it's been the last eight years. <laughs> yeah. No, I just be, like when they press you on it for no reason, be like, "Why are you like?" invading my personal <laughs> shit like that if you don't like the answer don't ask me the fucking question because there's two answers and i'm gonna give you one of them yeah why don't you say that to your girlfriend uh, <laughs> always drew good stand, point drew stand up i guess you're right you should just lie <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you say that and, and then choose celibacy for a while uh, i forget how we went from there i'm like well i said uh we talked about the election and january 6th came up no. and yeah and he oh no he goes he goes <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a good you actor, meant, am I? No, you meant that one. <laughs> you felt it. I think I did. I, <laughs> my chair. 